So um, I'm re-recording the video that I just recorded a little while ago before I did my homework. I've got my finals tomorrow and Thursday for nursing. Well, not the whole course, but just my summer courses. Um, but I'm re-recording the video that I recorded earlier because I realized I was an asshole and I didn't quite realize it in the moment. But, you know, the cards that we pull are just as much for us as readers as they are for you, for the collective. You know, we're part of the collective. And I got a little bit of a universal bitch slap. Um, I basically, the reading was good. No, I won't give it to you. <laughs> um, the reading was excellent. And, I, and if you wanted to like talk with me about it, you know, personally, like outside of this video, just definitely hit me up, DM me. If you want your own reading, absolutely DM me. I might actually show it to you at some point, but um, I basically did the, same, did the thing I was saying that the cards were saying to us not to do. And in that reading, I actually exemplified exactly what not to do. On a very low scale, like a very low key scale compared to or I could, what, it, what the cards were actually warning on a larger scale, but I definitely caught myself doing that. I stopped the upload, even though, you know, I didn't want to waste time. Like, obviously, I, I actually considered, like, oh, I don't want to, but I'm like, no, you know what? Freaking did the, the very same thing that you said not to do in that reading. So I can't be a hypocrite, right? There was some throwing on, under the bus a little bit. Mm -mm, I'm not gonna, I, I can't put that out there. You know, when you wake up, it's a good thing. You know, when we start to wake up, but then we can choose. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to shuffle the cards for you, but thank God, thank God, literally. I heard that voice. It was like, something's not right, Lisa. And I kind of, I, I went back and I, I wasn't necessarily listening to the video all the way through again. But I will, I will, I do like look at them. I don't edit them. But um, I do look at them. Sometimes I just get like other messages that I maybe didn't say the first time around. And I might put them in the context of what I write, you know, the little bit of a write-up that I do for the video, for the videos. But in it, I knew exactly I had done the very same thing I said not to do. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be in this energy. That card, that card sucks. Except when it doesn't, but that's rare. That's deceptive energy. It's gossip. It's lies. And I was gossipy. I was actually gossiping catty in a way that I was like... And I'll show and I'll show you why um, in a minute. So let's pull the cards that came out. It was the High Priestess. It was the Three of Cups reversed. The Six of Swords reversed. Not a good scene. Um, ah, and the Seven of Cups. I didn't look at the. I didn't do bottom of the deck stuff. I didn't need to. There was enough going on with the reading itself. Was I didn't feel called to do it. So these are the cards that came up. Oh, and these too. Hold on. So I pulled from the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle. And I got the, set the Sisters. I hate that card. I, I love the Fairy deck. It's, this card actually scares me. I mean, those girls are scary looking. Um, it's funny that they came up because I've been referencing Mean Girls this week. That's kind of a mean girl in that, that other video. Not attractive. That's not who I want to be. That's not that's not the, the person I'm trying to, I, I am learning more and more to be. Because this is a card of, all of the, the cards, Seven of Swords, this card. Um, they're low vibe cards, and um, I, I did it inadvertently. 
I wasn't really conscious and that's but that's what happens we get conscious and we start you know we're not we're like no I actually am this is where I want to be and this is a card of expressing your anger and frustration and speaking even though I wasn't doing it directly speaking about a situation that it's it's demeaning and belittling in a way that maybe you don't realize and that's what we're supposed to be impeccable with our word and our actions in order to manifest the life that we want nobody nobody wants to be an asshole you know nobody wants to be you know that person who's like catty and, and nasty and and um, closed really and, and really just fearful like I said I realized I, I, I did that in some really low-key ways and that's not the kind of vibe I want to put out there so I'm redoing it Okay. And so the cards that came out were these guys in reverse. We have the Three of Cups in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. And so these cards are, and Leda, I know I promised you, I said in the first cut that I I, had, I, I was a little overexcited when I got these because I was just talking to my friend Leda, Layla, Leda, Layla, Leda, uh, just before I got on and did the reading, and she was texting me during the reading, and um. You know, and so, you know, we're college friends. So, you know, back in the day, I, you know, I guess I was channeling some of my old college self. But we've grown up. We've grown up since then. And we've grown up and we've grown better. I love you. I love me. I love this new version of me. I love that I'm not doing this anymore, right? These are, these are cards that... It, the the six of swords in its in its upright is about packing up and taking your thoughts, taking whatever you have, whatever little left you have, and going to somewhere new. Now, in reverse, you would normally think I, I in reverse be like, oh great, well I don't really need to go to something anywhere. But this but this is actually a boat to nowhere. And this in reverse, a three of cups is normally a card of celebration, a card of good times, a card of joy getting together with friends and you can't really do that so much anymore so things are a little upside down but in th these guys together coming out I was not excited I was like "Ooh, what's that this is toxicity and that came out in yesterday's reading toxicity came out um, it came out specifically in the devil card combined with that eight of wands so you know the, the and the, the nine of swords was the one that came out first and I was um, Attracted and I and I spoke to my daughter about it later. I, I was really attracted to the I noticed the roses in the quilt on the um, nine of swords person in the bed And I was thinking, oh the roses are really beautiful, but roses have thorns So again be careful about that seven of swords energy that keeps coming up keeps coming up this week Do not deceive yourself Deception of self is even is more prevalent than even being deceived by other other things. But you know, with the set with the silver sisters coming up, and that that um, devil with the eight of wands, these are messages. These are like psychic attacks, and we either are psychically attacking ourselves, doing that to ourselves, and putting us ourselves in that nine of swords. We're getting it all twisted up in our heads, or you know, we're listening to a lot of external stuff that is really toxic. This is a car, this is toxic. This is numbing ourselves out, like doing the same old stuff and coming up empty. Those cups are upside down. They are, there's nothing in them. There never was. And, and you're, and you're, and you're, and you're, and you're still going for it. You're still going to put yourself in a boat. So I talked about like what I, interestingly enough, I attended an Al-Anon meeting just prior to getting on doing the reading with the virtual one. Um, we have some substance abuse in our family, obviously. Al-Anon's a great organization. Absolutely highly recommend it because it helps you work on your own addiction issues that may not be in a bottle or in a needle or up your nose or whatever. Because those of, anybody who 
is around any kind of substance abuse stuff. Like everyone's got some kind of trauma and toxicity that is related to addiction stuff. You can be addicted to just be, being fearful, which is one of the things that ends up happening in, in toxic situations, no matter what it is. You let fear run you. And then, but when, but it's, it's hard to break out of that fear cycle, right? So places like Al Anon are really help you get a handle on that and help you become better. And then you can continue to, you know, associate and love and be with the people who do have chemical dependencies and learn how to work with that rather than just throwing people under the bus. Right? We learn to accept one another. accept ourselves but this is not a car these this these two are not that kind of energy these are cards of continuing to numb out and doing what's called a geographical in the recovery rooms this is a geographical all you've done in this is you've picked up your whatever you have, your thoughts, but you're, you're, you can't even keep a hold of your thoughts. Your, those swords are thoughts. Those, that's like your, your mental functioning. You can't even keep a hold of it anymore. Your life is unmanageable. If those swords are going to fall out of the boat before you go get even hardly away from the dock. And then you're going to have nothing but your, your huddled self in like a weird cloak and this little weird kid next to you. <laughs> you know? You're not even going to go anywhere. Because you're doing the same old, same old. All you've done is you've taken the things that you all, you do and you've mapped them onto another situation. You've just mapped them onto an, the same old situation. And you may not even realize it. You're still numbed out. But there's no, there's no numbing out anymore. There's no more running. There's just, this is that week. You're really lucky this week. Maybe you're facing stuff that makes you want to do this kind of stuff. Just do empty bubblegum stuff to mask over how crappy you feel because you don't want to face your fears. But if you do face your fears this week, the, the universe, the sky, is all the planets are aligned. God is behind. God made those planets, by the way. Behind us, succeeding. We just take the moment to face the fears. Because the next card that came out was this one. It's the seven of cups. So we can either be here and, and still play with these stupid three cups that are empty as hell anyway, to change them up for these. Look at all of that. That's fun. You can have everything you want if you face your fears. You learn how to face your fears. Yeah. The world card did not come up, but she may have been in the bottom of the deck. But you can have these. And this is look at this is elevating your thoughts. Like he's literally elevating his thoughts. And he may have to work a little to do that and you know, put a little muscle in. He's still elevating his thoughts and he's all kinds of cool stuff. He's got people, he's got the whole his connection with the divine is what helps him. And so that's how we get out of this. You've got to connect up with the divine, your higher self, your wiser self. Pick your head up and look at all the choices that you have. And you don't have to even pick just one. You can have all of them. You can. Don't let anybody tell you different. Especially and it's probably you who's telling you different. You can have all of this, all the options. And you can choose one. Or you, can, like I said, you can have the whole kit and caboodle. That's awesome. You can have a fun dragon to ride on. Is that fun dragon? Isn't he fun? And some beads and laurel wreath, success and victory. And a beautiful house and a cool snake. <laughs> I don't know what the snake is, but. Snake, I think, a snake is actually wisdom. I think, what is the snake symbolism? I know it's like actually one of the totems of Scorpio. I love Scorpios. Shout out to my special Scorpio pick. Snake. Snake. And shout out to my favorite Leda.
fertility, rebirth, renewal, and even immortality. Immortality? You know what? Your legacy. What you leave, you go high vibe, you leave an awesome legacy. And you leave that behind you, and that's mortal. Right? That kind, that's kind of immortality. So, you know, you might be making some choices that you don't really want to tell everybody about right now. Especially anyone who might really be against any kind of choices that you're making. Really might have a lot to say about that. You know, people who, you know, you don't really, un, you know, have that unconditional love for you. Or unconditional support. And if they, you even have to question that, then just keep it to yourself. It's fine. But keep moving forward, nonetheless. So whatever kind of like, you know, ideas you're coming up with today and tomorrow. This is a reading for August 11th, the night of August 11th, and going into August 12th. You might want to keep to yourself. So the high priestess is, um, and and you know, we're approaching a new moon. So we're getting into, we're going to be in that balsamic phase. Not, we're not quite there yet, but a time of meditation anyway. She's the meditator. She's keeping her mouth shut. She knows everything. She's very much about the unknown. She's more circumspect though than the hierophant who is more of an establishment guy. Rule, structure. She's got more broad, she looks more broadly at all religions. You know, she's got a lot of symbolism going on here. She's got the, she's got the ankh, Oh, not in this one. She's got like uh, more like the Greek Orthodox cross there. And this is like some kind of Egyptian game going on. And then she's also got the pomegranates, which, oh, I looked that up earlier too. The pomegranates are um, also fertility, rebirth. Um, Diverse cultural religious religious significance. So again, yeah, there was that other piece. There was kind of that validating piece, symbol of power, fertility, beauty, eternal life. So again, immortality. This is way beyond. This is way beyond the pale, way beyond the norm. And um, and she doesn't just necessarily see things as black and white. She sees things. She sits in the middle. She has a kind of a justice vibe going on, which came up in yesterday's reading as well. And in, but this is more of that spiritual aspect of justice rather than the material. Um, and this is leaning into faith. Again, leaning into faith. And know that the choices, just keep moving forward with the choices that you do want, that you listen to your heart, that you connect up with the divine wisdom, more, the more wise version of yourself, that more high vibe version in order to Get the things that you want and trust that they're going to come into fruition. Pomegranates, what? Pomegranates are a, are a winter fruit. So now I'm thinking about that. So plant the seeds now. You may not see them come to fruition until like Christmas. I know. It feels like a long wait. But that's okay. You can do it. Just keep your focus. Keep your focus. Be serene like this high priestess. No matter what your gender, emulate this high priestess energy. And you can have all of this. This is a central card of the reading. Now, the card that came up on that was the Silver Sisters. And I said, in, now, so here's the other thing I wanted to say was the numerology on this reading is a three of cups is three, and then they've got the six of wands, that's nine. The seven of cups is um, 16, and then two for the high priestess, who's a major arcana, of course. She's an important card there. Brings us to 18. So in numerology, so that's 18. The one of the 18 is... Um, love and then the eight is commitment so it's like about protecting your commitments you know what you love about your commitments it's kind of like you know when you have a baby you, you want to protect the baby um christopher a shout out to christopher Latecki. he talks about that a lot sensei christopher he's awesome serious joy joy you know you should definitely subscribe to his service he's awesome but um yeah so you know this is about uh, the things that we love, protecting the things that we've com that we've decided that we're committed to, or checking in on what what is it that you actually do love. 
And that was one of the things that came up, you know, like, it keeps coming up. Like, what is it that you love? Oh, I keep losing my... There we go. Um, what is it that we do love without throwing everything out, without dumping everything out of our boat and our cups? You know, why don't you double it up? What, three cups to seven cups? Yeah, that's more than double, right? But, um, yeah, like, what is it that you love? Like, let you get get creative. This is, this is like I said, connecting with the divine. This is mind and creativity. It's harnessing the mind to the divine to open things up. And then, of course, we have all this, you know, again, you have that snake at the top, immortal. immortal. But, yeah, it's definitely about... Um, Choices, but planting seeds that, you know, again, just keep like going that high vibe. Don't listen to that devil energy from yesterday. Don't listen to that nine of swords. Don't let your thoughts and your get away with you. And these girls. Again, this is psychic attack, and you could be either doing this to yourself, or you could be experiencing this. And if you're if you're in that environment, remove yourself. Remove yourself quietly. You can do that because you need to take care of yourself. Don't let don't let people tell you what to do or how to be, um, because. You know, you know, you know what's right for you. You know how to take care of yourself. This is a cool card. You can have everything. Don't let, who, check about what you're, and, and again, the, these are all, um, this is cards of detox. This is getting clean, cleaning up your game. This is, that's been all over the reading. What's, oh my God, now we're going on week, day 10. What's in your life that's not in alignment? What's making you not feel good? Making you feel like you've got red eyes, that you're crying. That you're catty, that you're just like, Ew, you know, making fun of other people um, to make yourself feel better. That's kind of what I caught myself doing. And, and in a way that I didn't realize I was doing. And, but I, all of a sudden, it like I was like, oh, geez, I just did that. But I'm glad I saw it. Thank you, Silver Sisters. They're, like I said, they're my least favorite card in the fairy deck. I'm sorry. But they just became my favorite. I think that's not true, guys, though. I'm sorry. You're really creeping me out. But, um, yeah. So just be careful. Be, be impeccable with your words. Be impeccable with what's in your heart. If things that are coming out of your mouth and your actions are not actually what's what your heart wants in alignment. If you're surrounded by people who are situated in a situation that's, um, you know, and this is a situation. This is like old. This is like, are you in a situation where, like I said, you're just doing the same old, same old? You've mapped your old habits into a new situation. You can do better. You can definitely do better. Just tap into your divine wisdom. There's a lot there. And that, yeah, you know what? That might mean you're going to get some flack. Sorry. But what's worse? For the rest of, like, the next 24 years? Because, yeah, you know what? Blue is going to go into Aquarius next year. You want to be on a boat to nowhere or you want to go somewhere cool? Face your fears. That's the way to the boat. That's the boat that's cool. Face your fears. Elevate your thoughts. Trust in the divine. Trust that you actually do know what you and that there are lots of choices and there's lots of ways to get there. 
And it's, and it's going to take a little bit, a little while, though. But you can work on it. That's cool. Don't listen to bullshit. All right, so that's pretty much the read. I'm going to let it go from there, and I'll come back and I'll do a reading. And I'm really grateful that I, I caught myself in that situation. Super glad about that because that was a breach of trust. And I'm not about that. I'm about love. Love for myself and being in alignment. And I love you. Hit me up if you want a private reading. Or like I said, if you're around in Austin, like I said, I'll do a virtual reading for you just like this. And we can do it for realsies. All right? I love you. See you tomorrow.